the second time that these two schools have ever met in college basketball. You have to go all the way back to December of 1975 as they write the latest chapter in their history as we are off and running here in Las Vegas with the Georgia Bulldogs controlling. This is Silas Demery. Riley, North Carolina kid, takes his first pull, and a rebound underneath by Dante, one of the top rebounders in the country. And it's on the baseline. And right now, Georgia, they want to use their quickness, get out and run. Mike White wants to play a lot of transition basketball and shoot a lot of high-volume three-pointers as a Doreen gets fouled. I can sense it because almost of, of his own success, but oh, and, and Bill Self and the standard of extras and the returning group. And a team that feels like they have something to play. Offensive rebound by Russell Chiwa, one of the newest Bulldogs. They work it into the corner. This is R.J. Melendez. Dangerous pass in tight quarters. And the Bulldogs turn it over. Here's Kuznar open floor up top. But off the loose ball, it's Kuznar to put it back up and in. One of the from Michigan. Another duck who's been dealing with a little bit of knee soreness. He's missing practice time. He's late. That was Dan Biddle on the tip. And the Ducks team actually where they ranked a recruiting class that some of the sites had as high as 20th in the country. As Dante on a dive to the rack. He quit. Who's dealing with an ankle injury likely out until December. So they've got some key pieces that aren't ready quite yet. Nate Biddle's ready at the start as he bangs in a quarter three. And nine for Fellowby. So Georgia, they have to get the ball moving around, get this defense to shift. Thomas is short, so Georgia trying to play through some jitterbugs here at the start. Up and under, that is Kuznard, a thing of beauty. Well, Dana Alden said with so many guys missing practice, it's kind of slowed our progress a little bit. Grant, they haven't looked like it. What a start for the Ducks as we get a, a foul here on a three-point attempt. That'll be our defensive end, rebounding and protecting the rim for the Bulldogs. Foul trip freshman year at Virginia. But, uh, just an incredible player, incredible human being. And you know, yesterday, when Juby came over and talked about how he was Chiwa. Kwame Evans has now come under the game now for Oregon. One of the highly touted newcomers for this team. Freshman from Baltimore as Georgia finally able to get something going. An right, exhibition game against Eastern Kentucky, but looked healthy. Just couldn't convert there, but she was able to finish inside. This is Brandon Rigsby, one of the sharpshooters for Dane Alden. Nice. Finding the right angle. He's in mid season form. Here's Evans leaning in, going glass. Zarzuela into the corner. Evans' shot was partially deflected by James. And here is Dante at the free throw line. Shoulders, just a big guy right there. So a physical presence, you know, and that will be a big point of emphasis. They want to. Let me make sure that the defenders this year are established in position. Zarzuela dropping it down to Biddle, and Biddle cleans up his own mess. And this impressive start for the Ducks continues their lead. Now up to 11. Eight straight for the Ducks, and there's a takeaway. Jadrian Tracy rips it away, and then to the wreck comes Oquendo against the... ...in the story thus far. Points off turnovers have been huge. Here's Kane, running floater, gets it to go, and he's fouled. Of course, Blue Kane has come from good stock as well. Well, I don't know if it's right. I'm going with that. <laughs> I suppose it could be Carolina. We, we, know. we will confirm. We will confirm at halftime. There's our point of doing his dance. Wait, what a maneuver play right around Kane. Masterful with his feet for Georgia. As we move past the midway point in this first half, as our Zuela pass actually hit off the shoulder of Dante, he sticks with it. For a second straight year, but anyone who followed this team knows just how ravaged they were by the injuries. Five of their top six scorers last year missed multiple games. And they just could never quite get themselves physically right. There's not well short on the long two, and the rebound is controlled. As we get to the second half of the first half. One-in-one -one situation. Last year, 
started really well, then Pritchard just continues to shoot poorly. They're now three of 17 from the field. Here's Urzuela, Barcelone. Still plenty of time to shoot. They'll kick it, Evans left open, splash! And that kid right there might be the most talented, has big time talent and potential showing his range. Thomason finally gets the Bulldogs a three point jack. His team with four seconds to shoot, so they have to play quickly. Abdul Rahim fading and hitting. That's a corner three right in front of the Oregon bench. He's getting a turnover there on that play. Still plenty of time to shoot. Here's Rigsby. The kid who just needs a little bit of daylight. Has that beautiful high arching shot and he puts it down for the duck. Don't expand on his game. Barthelemy misses again short. Bulldogs will reset. Thomason gets him into their half court. Now Melendez. Puts it in the deck. Beautiful drop step. Spin misses on the scoop. And Georgia comes up empty. Rigsby to the cup, and he just keeps on coming. He's three of three off the bench for Dana Altman. Whistle blown, and they will count the basket for Melendez, and a chance at three for Georgia. And we're talking about then get you a little bit more confident in playing your game. This is Arzuela, defended by Demery. Now the Biddle. Biddle guarded by Abdul He Now Kane on the help of Biddle. Unable to put it down. Kane left open. He can stroke it. And he buries a three. And he's got so much polish to his offensive game for a first year kid. Georgia quickly working at Dora Heath from the corner. Splash! And that is what Mike White wants. Get stops, get out before the defense can get set. And Georgia now finding their range from downtown. And look at that Georgia bench. Starting to park. They're excited. Last couple of minutes. And Georgia with the takeaway. It's Kane. Kane looking to push. Euro step puts it down. Make it 11 straight for the Bulldogs. They cut a 17-point Oregon lead down to four. And right now, if you're Oregon, you maybe want to go inside to Dante. Let him get involved and establish things on the interior. How does Oregon now deal with some of this pressure? Trying to feed the box to Dante. And, uh, having success. One-on-one -one situation for Dante at the line. 62% of the strike last. Mike White following the legend of Florida, Billy Donovan. Of course, all the Gators in contention year in, year out. You know, a, a period where the program really... You know, Mike White told us defiantly before the game, this is a significantly improved team that we have. Question is, how do we stack up? Basically, every team in that conference improved by a wide margin as well as Dante again continue only foul him to prevent him from scoring. There's a young man who's been through And I like him to he's a big guy that plays big. He's a physical guy. And obviously the anchor to this defense for Oregon. Oregon trying to restore order after they coughed up most of the driving, understanding you're in the bonus and getting back to the fin. Evans to come over with that foul. Come into the game for Georgia. This is Hill. Probing. Reset Abdul Rahim. Working against Tracy. Up to the rim. Really good defense from JJ and Tracy. Yeah, great defense. Contesting without fouling there. But you notice right now, Dana Altman, he's gone to a small lineup to match Georgia and their quickness and speed. Not playing the Twin Towers. Dante, beautiful drop step. What footwork. Oh, incredible footwork. I thought he was falling there for a sec. He didn't get that easy, too. Melendez bumped. He's going to shoot free throws. Minutes of this first half. And you can see he's kind of this couple of days as they try to slowly work him back into the mix. Not good news. Hopefully he's not nothing too serious. Great job by our camera people here, Matt Lippard, director, and producer Tom Heights, rest of our True TV crew. 
so excited to have you double in 13 minutes. That's pretty efficient. It's a pretty good way to, to begin the new. That's why we're not doctors here. Yeah. <laughs> Turn Let's go with turnover. Final three seconds. Bartholomew Runner banks it in, and it will count. His status dealing with some of the knee soreness, missing a, a chunk of their preseason camp. Well, we'll start to start to the on the dust and speaking of good goal right, right. get the defender on his hip. Good what what's happened have to do with Dan Alton said in an interview with with Ali at halftime, they had to get the ball moving and attack and get into the paint where they had so much success early in the game. Chance at the win. As Kuznar could have put it down, Bill had a couple of chances. Are we going wet foot? Oh, yeah, I remember you showed that great element early on. The Super Junior Top Ice. She couldn't put it back, but Melendez is there to stick it. Defense picking it up. I mean, just nothing pretty. Just got a maximum effort. Got to help each other. And that was too easy right there. Beautiful move. Thomason resets to Melendez with six seconds to shoot. She comes out to screen. Melendez showing the handle. Really good defense by Cruz Hart, but Melendez was even better. A great touch right there. Tough shot. Good look easy. Melendez had some moments in the NCAA tournament last year with Illinois. As Oregon comes up with a takeaway. They look to push all the field the most. It's really been Georgia, you know, getting it done on both ends. And easy basket last season. One of the top rebounders in the Atlantic 10 Conference. And he didn't start the first half. Mike White shoots him to start in the second half. And his energy and physicality certainly paid off. There's Dante Rodgers against Chilo. Two bigs banging into each other and a team. We said experience in college basketball. The Pac-12, so much history. So many great programs in multiple sports. And it's Mark Dunley right there knocking down a three. He saw that shot he made at the end of the first half. He's 0 for 7 before that. Knocked down a tough three-pointer there. Deloach sucks in the second defender. They reset now to Demery. Under control move and hits. This is ninth rebound for Biddle. Rigsby erased by Melendez. Tenth turnover committed by Georgia. Seven point Oregon lead as we cross the 60 minute mark of the second half. And this first day of the new college basketball. Some athletes here and we stock in this program. I'm going to fall for the three. And the pop will be very impressive from Justin Hill, the senior. Now the Houston kid on his Georgia roster. Kuznard. Dangerous pass and it's broken up. This defense by Demery gets out quickly in the open field. Circus! This Georgia team hasn't been playing in times, but they have shown some fight. Bartholomew, he's fouled on a three contest on Bartholomew, but you have to be smart and not foul. Three-point shooter is not going to be pretty. But you got to play hard and play without foul, and that's what's got him back in the boat. How talented and the parity that exists in the SEC is not going to be at the top. One of those answers to some of our questions are going to start to be answered with the new season of us. Make the Bills transition three long goal and rebound controlled by Blue King. Here comes Melendez, full head speed. Emphasis this year, and that time was a, maybe a split second. I like the confrontation in the second half. Bobby Evans has come in and they turn it over to the Ducks. Oh, and you're efficient on the offensive end, and you and our coaching matchup between Alton and White today. After he played play with three personals, gets right back to him. Uh, but he talked about his ability to get to the line and draw fouls here. Jordan he doing a good job mixing and matching on the offensive end. The one. So um, he, he is definitely missed an important piece to the Georgia Bulldogs team. Open floor. Rich Beats taking flight. 
going to have to deal with an assortment of injuries last year. Missed a chunk of the year with the finger towards the end of the year. First month of the season with an ankle injury. But uh, that young man appears to be healthy and ready for the new season. I like this young man who gains confidence. Dante, but just too big. Making it look back in. And they do it again here. Kwame Evans working here against Demery. Plenty of time to shoot Evans. And this is going to be a little bit of a push. That's good to level of versatility. You know, it's right. hard to project whether or not a true freshman will be able to come into the college level and have an instant impact. But he's one of those guys that Coach believes really can. And he has them playing in the middle of the press on offense, which he, I said, are you comfortable with that? He said, well, not really, but you got to throw him in the mix and, and see how he handles it. He has great instincts, but you never know how a freshman will he is so skilled, so talented, can do so many things. And Gabe Whitehead. But yeah, all the top programs recruiting him heavily. But they ended up choosing Dana Allman and the Ducks over some of the, the biggest blue chip programs in the country. We should want to hear Oquendo on wrestling. It's tough to do. Did you already have the adjustments he's made at halftime? Really just S got three late first half, not that time. Well, Georgia's offense has gone cold. They're down 17 points. Here's Oquendo. Got it! Biggest lead for the Ducks. Now, we just wanted Texas A&M, so. Definitely a score of mentality. This is going to be, look at this team. Again, very early, you don't want to draw too many conclusions. Just seems like they all have the full complement of players thus far in the preseason. There is a lot of talent and a lot of just sort of diversity in style. You have big garden dates sometime in December for Cook, but that's another piece. You're talking about a McDonald's or Tom Jackson. Shell said as well, he says a lot about the program and Dana Altman. When you try to follow the sport, the experts, they know how good Dana Altman has been, but the consistency is <laughs> right there. So Dante misses on both. He's got a dozen points, 18 rebounds if you just hopped on with us. Wow. <laughs> when you start the new season, an 18 rebound in 21 minutes. Mm. And certainly they got to fly, they got to share the ball, they got to shoot the top of it. Mm. And he's uh, once again knocking down a three point. I think that's a good point on that. If you're a Sorkin team can shoot the three like that, what a difference. Finally, the Georgia Brown, this is how they need to play. They need their defense to get stops and they need to get out into the transition. That's the recipe for success for Mike White's Bulldogs. Trying to play a tempo. Hill trying to force the issue. Tony Pedis says no basket in the first half. They were down 10 at the intermission. Oregon has some changes. We can back in Dante and Billy. Listen. As they try to open a new basketball season with a win here in Vegas. Shot clock down to the three. Dante's got to hurry. Fires. Um, and you see the rules there. Plus the way he played. Grant, he wasn't even supposed to play in this game. And he's first game of the new season for both of these two teams. Here comes Demery to get a chance to score and possibly set up their defensive pressure. So Demery, the friend, caused Demery to rethink things. Let him out of his letter and working against Kane. And a Kuznard. Bill like White wanted there on defense. Bill, Bill became a starter last year, second half of the year, started the final 18 games of the season for Dan Altman. Little time left in this game. You got to give that to the big fella, don't you? Nice to go in there and steal the rebound from the free throw line. Bison was just 50% from the free throw line here in this game. The Oregon is going to play. 13 point game as we come up on the final four minutes. Here's Hill. High off the glass. So he made it in the Big South Conference.
This is Rigsby. Inside. Nasty. It's a little eBay. And Georgia turns it over again. It's a critical empty trip. Rigsby tees it up. Side of the Hall of Fame hosting this. Allow us to be here in Vegas, coach, today. Did I see you sneak in your Hall of Fame jacket today? What? Who? What? <laughs> well, I got ways to go. I got a long ways to go. Blue Kings trying to take it to the Rapid Georgia. It's a 14 point game with 242 to play in regulation. Beautiful pass, Dante! That's our cruise guard. All his ability offensively to score. Dropping one underneath for his big fella. Demory Slash! First three of the day for Demory. Young kid's got some oxygen. Three points. Rigsby finds his spot. Fires his own miss. Halton under. Turns it over. Rapunzel Hill sets the table at Dora. He transitions three. That's good! Get it down to Kane. Oh, baby. Baseline! And he hits it. As they desperately try to hit this pesky Georgia team away. Well, I felt like he walked away to see a reason for him. Good way to start the year. Sets the table for able to put it down and then starts well underneath. So they use up a bit. Once again, the fruit at the line. 14 of 20 points. Final seconds will come off the clock. And the Oregon Ducks come to Las Vegas 